Hi everyone, I'm Sherry Smith, Master Idea Coach. Today is day one of our video challenge, and I thought I would share a story of two strangers and the tale of two books. Last year I was flying between Nashville and California and back again, and I knew it was going to be a really long couple of flights. I normally don't read on a plane, but as my husband was putting my stuff in the car to drop me at the airport, I ran back inside at the last minute compelled for some unknown reason to reach at the very top of my bookcase at a stack of books, extra books that I had bought a while back and had not read, and I reached all the way down to the bottom one in the stack and grabbed it, tucked it in my bag, and headed off for California. So I got on the plane. We're beginning to take off, and a lady joins me and sits in the middle seat. Her husband is sitting to the right, and I noticed right away that they were a very private couple. They sort of keep to themselves. You know how sometimes you get on the plane and you're compelled to be next to somebody that just will not stop talking. It drives me crazy. Or the person beside you that talks so loud you can't even think. You know what I mean? Yep. Well, these two people were very quiet, kept to themselves, uh, even before the plane took off, she had reached in her bag and pulled out a book. I think he was already napping against the window, and I had already pulled out my laptop to do some writing. But something caught my eye in her lap. It was the cover of a book, and I couldn't keep my eyes off of it. It was beautiful. It was so colorful and festive. Joyous is the word that comes to mind, and this is the book. Can you see? The title is One Day My Soul Just Opened Up, and it's by the author uh, Ayanla Van Zant. Difficult time saying that name, but she's a very popular author and speaker, and um, a lot of people follow her and know about her already. I have not heard of her. But the lady sitting beside me was reading her book like this. So this is what I saw. And I could not keep my eyes away. I tried to get back to my laptop, and that bright, beautiful color just kept drawing me. And finally, I whispered over to her. I said, that's a beautiful book cover. And she showed it to me. She said, yes, it is, isn't it? She went back to reading, and I went back to writing. And a few minutes later, I noticed that she closed her book and closed her eyes. And I thought, well, maybe she's resting. And a few moments after that, she turned to me and said, Would you be offended if I gifted you my book? I was praying, and God just told me to give you this book. Gulp. <laughs> I was so humbled by that act of kindness. And I said, no, absolutely not. I would love to accept your gift. And before handing it to me, she grabbed a pen out of her bag and she wrote me a note. To the nice lady on Southwest Flight, I pray this book will bless you in mighty ways. Tiffany. No last name, although I know she and her husband were from Nashville. I wish I had her last name because I would love to get back in touch with her and tell her how much I continue to enjoy her book. But that's not the end of the story. So in a few minutes after she gave me her book, she did take a nap, closed her eyes, put her head on her husband's shoulder, and napped for quite a while, well over an hour. And as I was sitting there looking at this book, I remembered I had tucked a brand new book into my bag. I had never even uh, read it. I didn't even know what the chapters were. But every now and then, a book, for some reason, the title will catch my eye and I will buy it. And I usually have three or four laying around on the top of my book bookcase. And I reached down and pulled it out and I looked at the two side by side. This book was beautiful, bold, joyous, colorful, encouraging, uplifting, inviting. My book that I had was vanilla. 
It was very plain and dull. I don't even remember what the title was. It was obviously something that spoke to me at the time. But to me, and it also, see how thick and lush this is? My book was much thinner. It was much smaller around, and I thought, that doesn't even begin to compare to this beautiful book. But I decided that I would give it to her anyway. And so while she napped, I wrote my note inside of my book for her. And when she woke up, I leaned over and said, I would love to return the favor. Would you accept my book that I had brought for the trip? And she said, why, yes, of course. So through the rest of the flight, I read her book and she read mine. Now, I do not know what message was inside my book that she needed to hear, but I'm quite sure there was something because I do not believe in coincidences. And I know there were things in this book that I needed to read as well. The Tale of Two Strangers and Their Books. I hope you enjoyed my story. And you know, anytime I take a flight now, I always carry a book with me. I never know when I might need it. I'm Sherry Smith, Master Idea Coach, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye.